the Vatican. Okay, we've got our audio guide stuff right here and we are ready to go. Let's do this. <laughs> I wish I had this in my bedroom. He's having a great time. <laughs> it's like if someone took like the last piece of bacon or something. <laughs> and here we see a very defined watch.
melodies in my confessions So we've just come out of there now, as you can see from the footage. The entire place is amazing and honestly I just, yeah, it's almost too much to take in all at once. Vatican Museum as well, it was incredible. Obviously Sixteen Chapel, no pictures, that's why you can't see it. <laughs> but that, like, if you can, make sure, definitely get the audio tour. I wouldn't even recommend going as part of a tour because we saw some tour groups going around and it's just so like bam, rushing. bam, 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 so rushed. So audio tour, you can go at your own pace. That would be my recommendation anyway because it gives a whole lot of context, all the information that you actually want to know. Um, so, yeah, definitely worth it. And we booked in advance and we arrived at nine o'clock and the queue was way down <laughs> the street already. So seriously, yeah, go on the Vatican website. I'll link it down below. It'd be really much more useful for you guys and get the audio tour as well. It does cost an extra four euros per person, but it saves you an hour. So totally recommend it. Is that our queue? Does that mean lunchtime? Lunchtime. <laughs> We're on our way to the Castle de Sant'Angelo. Excuse my uh, terrible Italian. Um, but we're just heading there now, so we'll take you on with us as well. Then we're going to go get some lunch because we are starving. Starving. <laughs> just totally ravenous. But the, the whole place around here, so you can see from the buildings, like it's just beautiful, honestly. So beautiful. But oh my gosh, all the tourist traps. There's a lot in the way of tourist traps and uh, leery men. And look what we found. So much tourist stuff. But then again, what are we? So, it's said to keep going straight, hey? Look how cute though! They've actually got like flowers in a freaking basket, is that a Mommy? Mommy, yeah. Mommy's meant to be really good. Go, oh, go. Really. Fried um, courgette and zucchini. Oh, I remember yeah. this place. This is like the fast foody place. Yep, sounds good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you keen to try the artichoke, maybe? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we got a courgette flower, mushroom pizza, which is just for Brandon, and this one that we're sharing with eggplant, courgette, and looks like pumpkin. I'm so excited to try it. Mm.
Oh my god, we so needed that one. I'm really, really glad we went there. Seriously? Like, mommy? Just go check it out. It's really good. Now we're just trying to figure out where we're going, and it's this way. We got it right. Or at least I got it right for once that this never happens. <laughs> So this is right by the Piazza della Nova, or Piazza Nova. Yeah. So are you still amazed, darling? It's good. Right? <laughs> There's a giant hole in the middle of the house. With rain on it. And those two tiny holes in the floor take care of everything. There's actually four more over here. Oh, so there's more holes? Yeah, somewhere. Oh, yeah. And this is how you plumb your house with a hole in the roof. With really tiny holes. That's what I need. So, yeah, everything must be on like a tiny gradient. It's red. I didn't see it. I'm sorry, I thought that was a normal one. Jeez, sweetie. I didn't see it. I thought that was one. Yeah. Thank you for calling me down, I don't want to die today. Oh, there's a hole in the floor. Now you see why it's called the wedding cake topper? It's crazy, right? No? It's so ornate. And it caused such controversy. The slippery steps. Be very careful on the slippery steps. <laughs> very risky. Yes. That's why it caused major controversy. Even during the design and stuff. They're like, you can't do this. Yeah, they're like. Yeah, it's believed it was too flashy. <laughs> too much. All the detail though. It is very impressive. So now we're at the cake topper, or the official title, which I'll put on the screen because I've totally forgotten it. Um, yeah, it's wet, but it's amazing. Very much amazing. And now we've got to do our long walk back to the Nope, we've got to go up, up there. Going up there. Hell yeah, I want to go up there. Okay, we're going up. See 
Okay, she's got a little angel. Lucky. And look at this grand as courtyard. I don't know what you'd call this. But it's beautiful. And vast. Very vast. Do I go to the edge there, sweetie? How about we go to the edge? This is like you're made with the other. Then we'd be able to come and cast judgment on everything else down in line. Look up at that. Impressed. The amount of water on the lens. No, there's nothing. <laughs> Whenever you're in Italy, never forget to look up. gates like that and we only just stumbled across here on our way to Trevi it's a walkway it's literally a walkway like what it's so cool I love this town so much now I can't sort of thing that I've been looking forward to like since I was about seven. Oh my god oh my god I've got it Oh my god. <laughs> 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 we should come by here at night time too. I've waited such a long time to see this place. Isn't it just beautiful, sweetheart? This actually used to be a drinking fountain. That's what it's designed for, so that people could come here and gather their water. You can't drink the water now, but that was what it was designed for because they worship water so much. And it's still crowded. Even though it's raining, it's still crowded. <laughs> no, no, we're fine. No, it's alright. National Gallery of Ancient Art. Huh. Does it say there's a fountain? Yes. We haven't even decided on going here, but... The place is really pretty though. Yeah. Is it around the corner or something? Oh, oh cute. <laughs> we came all this way for that. No, we came all this way to look at the cool afternoon. Well, I came this way to look at the myth fountain, because I like fountains. Oh, <laughs> on the way up to Vehicle with all the scooters yep, but the way that they drive here <laughs> makes sense all fancy stuff like all the girls veggies already yeah, so is, that, is this frozen? This must be frozen. Yeah. It says that they've got vegan food here as well. Gelato, uh, raw brownie, which is very exciting, and then Brandon got the pistachio and the coffee chocolate one. But yeah, I heard about this place on TripAdvisor, and um, I'm doing a vlog of like. 
our food that we're eating in Rome and oh my gosh, this stuff is incredible. 